I still get a lot of interest in this damn thing. So uh, we're doing a little actual piece here where you get to see Brad firing her up, which was not just like turning a key in an ordinary car. To start the Bugatti Aero Lift, you got to come into the right side of the vehicle. You got to get the locks off. The hood down nice and gently, as not to smash it. And we come over here to the fuel pump. There's an arm here, and we start to we pump this, and we watch the fuel start to fill up in this bowl. You'll see some air bubbles. Might take a few pumps, 20 or 30 pumps. You can see the viscosity of the fuel start to change. You'll hear the pumping sound, and then you should be able to hear the fuel pumping into the carburetor down here. I have some background noise, but see it's really gushing now. So it's pumping it up from the tank. Here, hear like a little noise, and that means that the, the fuel bowl for the carburetor is now full. So now we'll go and we'll close the hood up. Now go into the driver's side here, and just and we're going to reach in behind this passenger seat, fold the carpet up. There's a green knob. It's a battery isolation switch. So it's right down there. Just pull the carpet up and then we turn it until the battery is tight. We should have power now to start it. So we'll make sure we're in neutral and we'll come over. The key is on the passenger side. So you pop that key. Make sure that the amp meter moved so we know that we have the power there now. We're in neutral, and that's for the throttle, and that's for the ignition timing. This one here is the choke. So we want to pull it out. It'll come out probably one inch. So we'll just pull it out about halfway, and then we're going to go over to the starter. It's a very fussy starter, so you want to get it wheeling over and then give it a few pumps on the, on the foot. But it must be wheeling over before you start pumping the gas to it or you'll flood it and you won't be able to get it to go. So here we go. Keys turn to the right and you push it in. We'll try it again. Almost caught there, so we'll just give it a little less choke. You gain the choke about that far out. Let it run for a bit here. Make sure you have lots of oil pressure. You can idle the choke down. And that's basically how you start it. And then you just shut the key off and pull it out. When you're finished driving it, you unscrew the uh, battery. And that's how you start this car. Perfect. As well with the doors. If you're opening a door, you better have somebody there to catch it. Never let it sit on the spring unattended because it goes back to the spring and that's the only thing holding it. So, if you don't have somebody holding it, the doors will come right back and hit to the ground in the fender, ca causing catastrophic damage. So always have a spotter holding the door. And that's it for this car. It's pretty straightforward. Right. Uh -huh. So, not every time you start this car isn't that difficult. When it's been sitting a little while, you got to open the hood up and then prime it. But uh, it's not just like pushing a button in a modern car, that's for sure. Uh, we sold that car, oh, geez, uh, over a year ago, maybe two years ago now, and I actually went looking for it the other day, and it seems to have disappeared off the face of the earth. So 
If you have seen it in either Holland or France or in the Middle East in the last six months or a year, drop us a line. We'd love to hear about it.